the voltage or the EMF induced into the conductor loop rises to this point here, like so, on your diagram. You may wish to indicate that right now. I'll give you a couple of seconds to do that. And you can see that it has reached 90 degrees. We can represent that by following this arrow all the way down in this direction to the horizontal axis where it represents 90 degrees. Maximum EMF. Or, as in the diagram it indicates, EM, meaning electromotive force. EM in the blue circle. Okay, similarly, if we continue to rotate the conductor loop, if we continue to rotate the conductor loop, from the plane XZ right the way through, WY once more, the conductor loop reaches its vertical axis once again, but not in 90 degrees this time. We are rotating it around in this direction. So we are actually going from X to Y. Therefore, the conductor loop will be in its vertical plane, W1. The EMF starts to fall. The reason being, uh, let's have this time Josh Lynch, if he's there, that is. If not, Josh Tullip, explain. Why the EMF falls as the conductor loop spins around from X to Y, ends up in its vertical position as shown. Okay, if Josh identified, either one of them, that the conductor loop has reached its vertical position, or the plane WY, therefore the angle form between it and the magnetic field is zero. The EMF therefore will be superb, zero. Indicated by that point on the horizontal axis. Make it up. So, so far, the angle of rotation in degrees is what? One hundred and eighty degrees so far. Okay, I'll just get rid of that little circle on the bottom there, very very quickly. Since we've discussed uh, one hundred eighty degrees rotation from W, X, and then from X to Y, we need to consider there, therefore, the rotation from the axis Y right the way through to Z and then W. Well, if we move in this direction now, from Y to Z, an angle is formed between the conductor loop and the main magnetic field once more. We can break that into two stages because we can see that there's 90 degrees on this side and 90 degrees on that side of revolutions. That's from Y to Z, obviously. And then that being from Z to W. That is. Make it up. Yes. 
Okay, whilst you're doing that, I want you to think about uh, why it's gone from positive to negative. What makes the current flow from plus to minus regarding that conductor loop? Just for clarity, I'll get rid of the drawings on there so you can see it a bit more plainly if you need to. Okay, discuss it with the person sitting next to you. I'll give you a couple of minutes to come up for a reason why you think that the polarity yeah, has switched from plus to minus as the conductor loop spins around in one complete revolution. Okay, let's go around the group very, very quickly. Uh, we'll start from the right-hand side of the group. We'll have the first two up first. Explain. Come to the board and explain. Okay, that should be long enough. Um, if you stop this video for now, uh, leave it or pause it on that snapshot. Uh, we'll go around the room and when you've done, you can replay the video again. 